Hi, I'm Antonio Macedo Jr. and I'm a pediatric urologist in Brazil. We have accumulated experience in training fellows in Brazil. We have a fellowship program that we have treated so far during three pediatric urologists. We have experience teaching the Federal University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, and we serve as associate editor of Journal of Pediatric Urology. The program will consist of sharing with you our daily activities. In this video, we have the opportunity to discuss uh, one case of hypospadia, of distal hypospadia. It's disappointing me, shallow groove. Shallow groove, that's right. So this appreciates the tip operation, doesn't it? Because this is, this is just an optic tip, isn't it, really? Single, potentially. Yeah. So I want to predispose what you're losing. Tissue, making the urethra more uh, robust, and uh, for this you manage uh, to have a more secure and robust uh, urethra by uh, joining the two flaps of the sponge uh, Y shaped uh, that we mobilize entirely from the corpora. The whole anatomy of the jump. This is how looked the massive hydronephrosis on the right kidney, and you see that you have poor function, although it uh, is great, and the scintigraphy showed there is an obstructive... Uh, We have just managed to do the ureterocalicostomy, which is a rescue uh, procedure. Hi, it's my pleasure to discuss with you this alternative for continent diversion for bladder augmentation for enterocystoplasty, which uh, offers an outlet channel. So it's an alternative to the Mitrofanov principle. And the advantage of this method that we developed a long time ago in 1998 is that you don't need the appendix, you don't need uh, any uh, other channel and you make the whole uh, reservoir with the outlet channel from the same piece of bowel, a uh, small bowel for island. And here is the most important thing. In the mid part of the segment, you will make a flap which has about three centimeters from the anterior wall uh, surface of the island. and. You have stay suitors that possibilitate to you to mobilize this flap, as you see here, up to the posterior surface. Then you can open uh, the, and very importantly, we uh, make a suture to, to place the dome of the reservoir, the abdominal wall, that gives uh, stability for the reservoir and keeps the angulation of the tube. Uh, in this coaching program, I'll be able to show you other examples of this technique that I hope that you enjoy and uh, probably you can incorporate it to your uh, practice too.